Hello friends and welcome to the cottage on this cozy snowy spring day. We have had lovely weather lately with a few random snow showers like today. Winter still trying to hold on. Later in the week we are supposed to have weather in the 60s and blue skies. I thought today would be a perfect day to invite you to bake scones with me. I'll be sure to link the recipe in the description box and in the comments below. The recipe is also in my cookbook. Afternoons like this are so relaxing for me. I always enjoy cooking in my kitchen, candles lit, music playing, and a cup of tea. It's just about perfect. After traveling and seeing my family this last month, I'm getting back to the rhythm of home life and all the details of running my household. Scones are such a simple treat to make and you can make them with whatever fruit you have on hand. Today I'm going to use blueberries and walnuts with a simple lemon glaze. Other combinations that I love are cranberry and pecan, raspberry and chocolate, cherry and almonds, orange and blackberries, just to name a few. I tend to bake treats on Friday afternoons so we have something nice for the weekends. During the work and school week, I usually meal plan and keep things simple, but on the weekends we like to have a big breakfast together and a cozy family tea in the afternoon. I pat my scones out by hand and shape them into a circle and pre-score the scones so they will be easier to cut when they come out of the oven. Hello friends and welcome back to the cottage. As you all know, I just got back from Idaho and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my trip. It's been a little while and it's taken me some time to get back into filming. So I thought I'd start off with making some scones and spending a cozy spring afternoon with you guys, even though it is snowing outside, but it's a very cozy day. 
We don't have any snow actually on the ground, but it's been a flurry of snow all afternoon. So I took a few pictures on my trip and did a little bit of footage just to give you guys a little bit of a taste of my time there, but I mostly just really enjoyed it and tried to absorb that time holding my new grandson and spending time with my family and friends. It was wonderful. My daughter did so amazing at the birth and we have a healthy, beautiful little boy grandson. He is so sweet and I'm completely in love with him and it was just wonderful to hold him and hang out with him and his parents and I got to see my family, my mom and dad, spend a few days with them, my son and his wife, my brother and all his children and then also my other brother lives in Idaho and their children. So it was really quite the family reunion and I enjoyed thrifting and playing games and just getting to spend time with the family. So I have a few little shots of that. Daniel was home holding the fort down with my daughter Nadia and they took care of the kids and schooled and did all the things. And Daniel also remodeled our bathroom. So I'll show a few pictures of that too. Natasha and I heading out to fly across the country to see our family in Idaho. I love this picture of my daughter Jo holding her baby and of course I got lots of snuggle time too. Natasha and I stopped and enjoyed some of our favorite restaurants in Idaho. We had so much fun playing games and spending time with our family. Daniel remodeled our bathroom from the ground up. It was the last big project that needed to be done in our house and it turned out so nice. Our trip was so memorable and so much fun. I got to spend time with my daughter traveling, Natasha. It was a mother-daughter trip and it was a lot of fun. And I'm gonna show you a few things that we um, purchased when we were over there thrifting. And we didn't really bring a lot back just because we had luggage to stuff everything in. So we just got a few things when we were over there and I was gonna share that with you. So when we got back, from Idaho, I decided that we needed to do a little thrift shopping trip with my daughters and the little kids because they had missed me so much and we just all wanted to get out of the house. So we ran up to the closest town and did a little thrifting. I got a few spring and summer clothes for the kids and I just picked up a few things. I know you guys always enjoy me sharing what I find. So I thought I'd share this. I got these really cool little glass bottles. I thought I could um, put pressed juices in them like my celery juice and apple juice and apple carrot juice and put them in the fridge. I thought they had really cool little lids here and they're only a dollar. So I got both of these and I think this was at Salvation Army. So I got those. And I also got these adorable little glass bowls. These are exactly the same kind of bowls that my grandma used to serve peaches in when we went to her house and yogurt. And I just thought they were so darling and they'd be great for tea time and breakfast. 50 cents a piece. And I got those. And I got a little bit of Pyrex here just because I'm always doing food prep and I just can't pass this up because I needed a few more and sending stuff with my husband to work. It's just nice to have some good quality Pyrex bowls with lids so you can store any of your food prep in the fridge. There was a lot of vintage dishes and I passed up a ton of dishes this time just because I'm trying to cut back on dishes. But I did grab these. They were a dollar a piece and I thought I would layer them for my spring tea time on top of my rose and cream dishes and I got four of them, perfect for like a little set of four for tea time. Usually like if I'm having a tea with my daughters or some friends, I thought these would work perfect for a tea time setting. And like I said, I got a few things for the kids that day. I like to keep my eyes out for things that are coming in season. And since kids grow so fast, I love buying good quality clothes at thrift stores. I'm always finding really nice brands like Land's Inn and L.L. Bean and REI, Patagonia, just stuff like that. And I always really look for nice brands that will last, that I can pass down. I only really have two little kids now to pass clothes down. So um, it's definitely a different time in my life, but it's fun getting really nice clothes for them for the summer and springtime. 
I passed up a ton of really darling vintage pottery and dishes because I don't need any more, but I always enjoy looking at what they have on the shelves and that cute brown pottery mug was only 75 cents. So many pretty dishes, only a few called my name though. A little view of my cart and what's in it today. This store had so much fun stuff for the kitchen and home and we had fun just looking around. So I thought I would show you, I'm gonna show you some clips of us thrift shopping, but I was able to pick this up at the Goodwill in Idaho for only $5.99. This teapot was for Natasha. She'd been looking for a teapot. She wanted to have her own. And so today I thought we would have tea with this, but um, I found this and I was so happy. It's just so darling, it's so her. It will look really good in her bedroom. And um, I was just happy with the price. It was $5.99, there's no chips, no glazing. It doesn't even look like it's been hardly used. It's just a beautiful teapot. And I got myself this little pitcher. I'm always looking for little pitchers for putting in sauces and cream for tea and things like that. I just love little pitchers like this. And I mostly have glass ones like clear glass ones, but this little cream one was just so darling. I just grabbed this and I think this one, I peeled the sticker off already, but I think it was like a buck or two. So there's that. And we got a little bit of clothes, but we really didn't thrift shop that much just because, you know, we're gonna be flying home. So we didn't wanna bring too much home. I brought the kids a few little gifts and some coloring books and some fun books for them to read and a couple stuffies from Idaho for them and that was really fun but I did pick up at a cute little store it's one of my little stores that I like to always visit uh, this was new but it was on clearance for $4.89 and it's uh, I wanted it for tea bags so I could set my tea bags in them in the morning next to my tea kettle and I just thought that was so darling so I grabbed that and if you know me very well i love hearts i've always loved hearts and i found this little wooden heart and i'm going to have daniel put some natural um, seasoning oil on this and use this for like i don't know for like my charcuterie board or something like that but a food grade seasoning just like i use on my butchering blocks and i just thought it was so darling it was 7.99 and i think it was 20 percent off so I got this and this, this was kind of my little treat um, from, you know, shopping in Idaho and bringing something back with memories. Natasha found a darling candle holder for her room. Then we went thrift shopping with my parents. This is where I found the teapot. If I didn't have to fly home, I would have bought this amazing little side table. It looked kind of like an East Lake style and it was only $15. Too bad I couldn't take it on as my carry on on the plane.
So I'm going to show you a little bit of footage of my parents' really cute tree house that they have in their backyard. My dad built it for the grandkids, but he kept adding on and making stairs, and they actually use it for a reading room too. It's just so darling, and sometimes they'll go up there and have, you know, tea or hot cocoa and read with the grandkids or, you know, just have a like, place to go that's quiet. It's so darling, and I thought I absolutely had to share that with you in this video. I love this time of year, and I will definitely be making a springtime video soon with springtime book recommendations, recipes, things that I like to do. So definitely be looking for that video in the future. I could seriously read a book and watch the snow falling from this sweet little treehouse getaway. We had a really nice visit with my parents. I am going to wash this up and get ready to have tea time with my daughter and we're going to have some of those delicious warm scones that are coming out of the oven in a few minutes. And if you would take the time right now to subscribe, I would really be grateful for that. Thank you so much. And if you guys don't want to miss any of our cozy videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm going to cut up some cheese and make a little snack tray while Natasha mixes up a lemon glaze for the scones. After filming this video and making scones, we thought a tea party for two sounded quite good. With the snow falling and all the good smells in the kitchen, it feels extra cozy today. Natasha is quite excited to use her new teapot. Having tea time is so nice and we try to fit it in here and there throughout our week. Sometimes it's the whole family, and other days it's tea for two, but either way we enjoy the respite and relish the time together. My husband recently told me that he read that when your children leave home, you only have a year of accumulated time with them over the rest of your lifetime and we really both felt that hit home as we have three older children out on their own. So we both are holding on to this precious time that we have with our children that are still at home. And yet knowing that as life changes, you have many milestones to celebrate. And one of those has been adding grandchildren to our lives, which is such a precious blessing that I'm so thankful for. I encourage you to take time for tea or coffee and enjoy a little respite today with someone you love.
Daniel is finishing some remodeling in the back of our house and he is stopped by the kitchen for a scone before he gets back to it. I love keeping scones under this cake dome. It makes me feel like I own my own coffee shop. A glimpse of my coffee table that is currently set up with calico critters for my littlest daughter's afternoon playtime. And a goodbye for now.